Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Books! But the witch had eaten too much cake and fallen asleep. So the fairy tiptoed past the sleeping cat, waved her wand, Abracadou, Abracadi, unfreeze the children and set them all free. And in a flash, the witch's spell was undone. As the sun came up and the stars went away, all of the children found themselves safely back in their beds. The end. Mummy, why did the witch freeze all the children? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the witch didn't like the noise the children made and just happened to know a spell for freezing them. Yes, thank you, Nanny Plum. Not eating for a year and a day must have made the children very hungry. No, the witch had frozen them solid, like frozen peas. Now, frozen peas don't get hungry, do they? No. Queen Thistle, where do the stars go in the daytime? I'm sorry, Ben. You said the sun came up and the stars went away. But where did the stars go? Uh, well, let's see what the book says. Hmm. It doesn't say where the stars went. Nanny Plum, do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. Oh. oh. Perhaps we should ask King Thistle. He knows how the world works. Yes, let's go and ask Daddy. <laughs> Enter! Daddy, Daddy, can we ask you a question? Yes, of course, Holly. What is it? Can you tell us where the stars go in the daytime? <laughs> what? Where do the stars go when the sun comes up? Well, they go. Yes, they go. <laughs> I'm actually rather busy at the moment, Holly. Our storybook said the stars went away. But it didn't say where they went. Oh, I see. Well... There are plenty of books in the Royal Library. One of them might have the answer. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Come on, everyone. Wow! It's very untidy in here. That's because these are magic books. You are very naughty books. Flying about and fidgeting. Chop, chop. Go sort yourselves out. A, B, C. Neatly, please. How do we find what we're looking for? These are magic books. You just ask them. Excuse me, books. Where do the stars go in the daytime? Do you have anything about stars at all? Ooh, look at all the fancy writing. What does it say? Has it got the answer? It says, little star, we ask you, to make our wishes all come true. Oh, it's just a spell for wishing on a star. Oh. Oh, I think these magic books are only for making spells, not for answering questions. But Nanny, why don't you know the answer? I'm Nanny Plum, not an astrophysicist. Astrophysicist? What's that? Oh, it's just someone who knows a lot about stars and space and things. Elves know a lot about things. We can ask my mum and dad. Are your mum and dad astrophysicists? Uh, maybe. Let's go and see. Hello. Hello. My goodness. Mum, dad, are you astrophysicists? No. Oh. We're, We're elves. elves. <laughs> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. no. <sighs> Nobody knows the answer. Maybe we could ask the wise old elf. Yes, he's wise. He's old. And, and he's, he's an elf. elf. <laughs> 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 
This is the wise old elf's study, where he thinks about things and is wise and stuff. Enter. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. How can I help you? Wise old elf, we have a question. The answer wasn't in our storybook. It's an elf question, not really a fairy matter. So we thought, as you are the wise old elf... Yes, of course. Ask me any question, anything at all. <coughs> Where do the stars go in the daytime? Uh, ask me another question. Uh, on sport, perhaps. You're not really wise, are you? You're just old. So, old elf, you don't know the answer? Er, uh, no, but I do know where to find it. Where? Follow me. Is it far? All of this searching for answers has made me a bit tired. We can take the lift. Mind the doors, please. We are going to the Great Elf Library. Great Elf Library, indeed. It's probably just a dusty old cupboard. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow! It's huge! There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Yes. <coughs> do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Yes. The answer is in the astrophysics section, second row, reference 520.34. This way. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh! And books about how things work. Wow! A rocket book! There are books about music. Oh, palm music for elves! My favourite! Books about animals. Oh, chickens! That's interesting! Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah! Here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. Oh. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny. The tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down, and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes, of course. So, Daddy, where does the sun go? Well, it... Ah, wise old elf. <laughs> These books should answer that question, Your Majesty. Oof! Hooray! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Hooray! 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Mr. Elf takes a holiday. Food delivery! Ah, thank goodness. Breakfast at last. Yes, sorry, I'm running a bit late today. I have a splendid king's breakfast for you, though. Egg and baked beans. Egg and beans? But today is Tuesday. We have muffins on Tuesday. Tuesday already? What happened to Monday? That was yesterday. Was it? You've been working too hard, Mr Elf. No, no, no. I'm fine. You need a holiday. Yay! A holiday! And you can come too, Holly. Ooh, can I, Daddy? Yes, of course, Holly. Have a good time. But... I can't have a holiday. Who will make my deliveries? Nanny Plum can. No, I can't. Of course you can. Any fool can drive a truck. What? But, but I'm the king, remember? And I sentence you to a holiday. Hello, Mrs Elf. I have some terrible, terrible news. Oh, no. What is it? King Thistle. What about him? Has sentenced me to... Prison? I won't stand for it. <coughs> Revolution! Up with the elves! Down with the king! <coughs> it's worse than that. He has sentenced me to... A holiday. holiday! Oh, my goodness! I knew you'd be upset. This is wonderful. We never go on holiday. What are you talking about? We went to the seaside. That was a day trip. And we went to the moon. But you left me behind. Oh, yes. Very well. Let's go on holiday. Hooray! This is the plan. First, we take the elf plane and fly somewhere nice. Oh, lovely! We have a quick snack. Yes. Then we'll pack up and fly back home in time for me to do my evening delivery. That's not a holiday! Now listen to me, Mr Elf. You're taking us away for at least a week to somewhere hot and you're going to relax. But I'm an elf and elves don't like relaxing. Well, you just have to learn. It's going to be fun, Mr Elf. <sighs> All right. But this is an elf holiday, so no magic wands, Holly. OK, Mr Elf. And no pets. <laughs> oh, Dad! It's my holiday. I make the rules. Sorry, Gaston. You have to stay here. Bye-bye, Gaston. Come on, everyone. We're going to be late for the holiday. Please, Mr Elf, try to have fun. All right. I'll try. Ready for takeoff? Yes! Let's go! I can't relax now. What if something goes wrong? Oh, don't be silly. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, no! What is it, Dad? The engine has broken. We'll have to land. Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. It's just water down there. Prepare for a big splash. A desert island. Good. Everyone out. Wow. A real desert island. Brilliant, isn't it? It is very pretty. What a lovely beach. Stranded on a desert island. Now what do we do? Relax, darling. There are worse places to be stuck. Yes, we can have our holiday here. Who'd like some lemonade? But after the holiday, how do we get home? We could send a message in a bottle. Clever Ben. That's what people on desert islands do. We write a rescue note, put the note in the bottle and then throw it out to sea. Then all we have to do is wait until someone finds it. Fantastic. And how long does that normally take? Usually about 20 years. What? 
Well, there's no rush. But what about the little kingdom? What about the great elf tree? What about my elf deliveries? Oh, stop worrying. I'm sure the elf delivery can manage without you. Fairy delivery! Ah, Nanny Plum, have you brought my potato? You always have potatoes, so I brought you an onion. What? Why? For a change. Have you got my baked beans? I've got you a pineapple. But I don't like pineapple. What about my sausages? I've got you some blue cheese. But I hate blue cheese. Oh, you're such a bunch of fuss pots. Honestly. It was better when Mr Elf did the deliveries. Yes, he knew a sausage when he saw one. Well, you'll just have to make do with me. Mr. Alf is on holiday, having fun. Stuck on a desert island. I am so bored. Do try and relax, darling. I can't. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. It is for me. I relax by being very busy. Maybe I'll explore the island. I could work out how big it is. Do you think there'll be anyone else on the island? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Footsteps. <gasps> so something does live here. Yes, a wild beast. Let's follow its tracks and find it. All right, but we must take care. The wild beast might be dangerous. The tracks lead to this bush. There's something in there. The wild beast. It's Gaston! Yeah! How did you get here? What's that? You hid in the plane, swam ashore when we weren't looking, and hid in the bushes, you say? Clever Gaston! But I thought I said no pets! Gaston could be useful, Dad! Gaston, we need food. Can you find some? <laughs> Gaston's good at sniffing out food. <gasps> A coconut! It's huge! Yes, enough food and drink to last us for weeks. Well done, Gaston. Stand clear! Hooray! You know, this holiday isn't so bad after all. I shall call this place Elf Island. Ben and Holly have been gone for ages. I do miss them. Me too. Oh, what's that? It's a message in a bottle. <gasps> it's from Ben. It says... Trapped on a desert island, Dad bored, please rescue. Let's go and tell the wise old elf. Wise old elf! Wise old elf! We found a message in a bottle from Ben Elf. Oh, my goodness. Launch Elf Rescue. We have a family to save. Elf Rescue, our go. Dinner time. Who wants coconut? Ugh. We've had coconut every day for weeks. Coconut soup, coconut pie, coconut pancakes, curried coconut. Ah, but tonight it's coconut surprise. What's the surprise? It's coconut. <sighs> coconut surprise? Delicious. Mmm, who's having a great time? I know I am. I want to go home. Me too. Yes, I do too. Home? I can't go home. I've got too much work to do here. I need to finish the hut, start on the garden, and I haven't even thought about the plumbing. No, the last thing I want to do now is go home. It's Elf Rescue! Hooray! Hello? We're here to take you home. Oh, thank you. But I haven't finished my work on Elf Island. But there's work for you back home. Nanny Plum hasn't quite got the hang of the deliveries. I wanted a potato and she brought me an onion. Onions instead of potatoes? That's crazy. I'll have to sort that out. So home we go. 
Bye-bye, Elf Island. Yes, bye-bye, Elf Island. I have to admit, that's the best holiday I've ever had. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Betty Caterpillar. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Holly. <laughs> to you, Bobby Bee. a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly. <laughs> wow, it worked. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her. I could do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa, steady, Betty. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> That's better. Brilliant. Ah! <laughs> hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Whoa! Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Flippity flop! Stop, stop, stop! What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we 
want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves. Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Too many leaves? Yes, she is a tiny bit fat. There's no way she'll ever fly. That's better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? <laughs> You'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. Just to feed Betty, but now she's so big she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. Morning time! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Ah, uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> <laughs> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> Wow! She's a butterfly! Betty Butterfly! <laughs> Look! They're all flying together! She looks really happy! Let's join them! <laughs> <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> 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 
Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. Yeehaw! <laughs> Betty Butterfly. Today's adventure starts on Picnic Hill. Honeybees. Ah, I do love a good picnic. Yes, nothing beats eating in the great outdoors. Sandwich, Mrs Elf? Thank you, Queen Thistle. Sandwich, darling. Mmm, yummy. Honey sandwiches, my favourite. <laughs> ah, buzz off. Go away. <laughs> They're only bees. Well, I don't like them. They're good for nothing. Good for nothing? The honey in your sandwich comes from bees. No, it doesn't. Honey comes from a jar. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Didn't you go to school, dear? Yes, King School. We learned to wave. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's right, King Thistle. Bees do make honey. Really? How do they do that, then? It all starts with a flower. The bees eat sweet nectar from the flower. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and... Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. When they've eaten lots of nectar, they take it back to make honey in the beehive. I'd love to see the beehive. I'll take you there if you like. Good idea, Mr Elf. And while you're at it, can you get me some more honey? Of course, Your Majesty. We'll bring you back a nice fresh jar of honey. <laughs> Mr. Elf, how many bees live in the hive? Oh, there are thousands of bees in a hive. Thousands? Wow! They must make a right old racket. Oh, yes! Get ready for the loud buzzing. It will be very noisy indeed. Oh, it's very quiet. Wise old elf, where are all the bees? They've gone. Gone? gone? Yes, flown off. We're waiting to see if they come back. There, that's the queen bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good. She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. Now then, Ben and Holly, what can we do for you? We've come to see how bees make honey. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the beehive, and I'm the beekeeper. We need a jar of honey for the king. No problem. So, I suppose we go in and get some. Where's the door? Hang on, Nanny Plum. You can't just walk into the hive. There's thousands of bees in there with thousands of stings. And they wouldn't be too pleased if we tried to take away their honey. <sighs> so what do we do? First, we make the bees sleepy. How? Well, it um, involves magic. But I thought you didn't like magic. I don't. But when I'm about to walk into a nest of angry bees, I'm prepared to bend the rules. Who does the magic? Oh, any old fairy will do. Nanny Plum, can you do a sleep spell for me? All right, then. <laughs> oh, Nanny, not the wise old elf. The bees. <sighs> Why doesn't he say what he means? Uh, 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 what what happened? Right. So just to be clear, you want me to magic the bees to sleep? If you wouldn't mind, yes. They're all asleep. Good. Now it will be much safer. So now, do you go in and get the honey? Not quite yet. We need a fail-safe. A fail-safe? What's that? Extra safety in case our first safety measure fails. Watch this. It's very clever. What's he doing, Nanny? Goodness knows. It'll probably be stupid, but funny. 
Ta-da! Told you! He's dressed as a bee. Yes, so if the bees do wake up, they'll think I'm a bee and not sting me. You're fail-safe. Yes, Ben. Now I simply fly into the hive. But you can't fly. That's where the elf helicopter comes in. Lift me up! Lifting! Bees asleep? Check! Bee costume on? Check! Jar for honey? Check! Go, go, go! Now, watch a beekeeper at work. Calm, safe and sensible. I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Lower me in. I'm inside. Take me down. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, all this for a jar of honey. Yes, it's very exciting. Too far. Up a bit. Now left a bit. The bees will wake up soon if he doesn't get a move on. I'm in position. Quick, wise old elf. <laughs> Waking up. Come on, wise old elf. Hurry up. There we are. Done. Calm, safe, and sensible. Eh? Ah, nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Mission accomplished. Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following him. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look, there's loads more of them. Why are they following him? Maybe they think he's the Queen Bee. Ah! Faster! the little castle. Thank goodness! The window's open! Hmm. Bit of a draught in here. Let's close the window. Yeah! Goodness me! Wise old elf, what are you... Ah! My jar of honey. What an amazing delivery service. You're even dressed as a bee. Yes? Let me in! What are you playing at? Shh! What's going on? Bees! Bees! Ah, yes. I used to be frightened of bees, too. But it turns out they're quite useful. Shush! Who switched the lights out? Follow me quietly, Your Majesty. Where are we going? Shh! Wise old elf, there better be a good reason for this, or good grief! What are those bees doing? Uh, the bees have decided that the little castle is their new home, Your Majesty. What? But looking on the bright side, you can have all the honey you can eat. Why have they all come here? They followed me because they think I'm the Queen Bee. Well, I don't want them on my castle. Shh. If the bees notice us, they'll follow me again. Oh, I see. Well, why didn't you say so? Hello, bees. He's over here. Cooey. Ah! Get me out of here. Don't worry, wise old elf. I've got you. Wait. What about my honey? They're getting closer. Try to shake them off. Right on. Hang on. Ah. Oh. Out. Oh. Ah. I'll try going lower. Aren't we a bit near the... Pond? <laughs> There's the Queen Bee. I mean the wise old elf. Here come the bees. Come on, here's your Queen Bee. A 
And that is how you get a jar of honey. Calm, safe, and sensible. <gasps> What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a beekeeper in his underpants before? Calm, safe, and sensible. Yes, exactly. It's all quite easy when you're an expert beekeeper like me. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Queen Holly. Children, your mother and I are going away for the day on royal business. Which means you will be at home, alone with Nanny Plum. Ooh! Everything will be fine, Your Majesties. So no funny business. I don't want to come home to find the kingdom covered in frogs or jelly or anything. No, no Daddy. Daddy. Because while we're away, you represent King and Queen Thistle. Does that mean I can be queen? <laughs> well, I suppose it does. Just for today. Brilliant! Magic car. Drive on. Bye. Bye. Be good. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> queen Holly. Hmm, I like the sound of that. <clears throat> Hello. I'm Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Holly's much too busy to play today. She has a kingdom to run. Huh? Ben! Come up here, quick! OK. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Queen Holly to you. What? Mummy and Daddy have gone on a trip today and left me in charge of the whole kingdom. Wow! So I'm Queen Holly. Hello. Hello, Nanny Plum. I've come to collect Ben Elf. It's time for school. OK, I'll just... Nanny, send the wise old elf up. I'll sort this out. Very well, Your Majesty. Enter. Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh. Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today. So I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes. It's the law, because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. What shall we do all day? Uh, play games! Yes, you've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly! Thank you, Queen Holly! Right, Mr Elf, next on the list... A delivery of food for the little castle. Right home, Mrs. Elf. Gosh, what a 
busy day. Yes, but elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> <laughs> Make way! Elf at work! There's no work today, Mr Elf. It's a holiday. Is this true, wise old elf? <laughs> I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty-ho. Bye. Bye. Talking of food, I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me. And me. And me. And me. Queen Holly. Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream! Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly! Where are we going? To the kitchen! We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am! But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abraca do, Abraca bong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone. Ooh, thank, thank you. you. I'll be back with more. <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot. to make ice cream all day long. Oh, dear. <laughs> ah, we'll soon be home. Yes, and it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes, Holly must be behaving herself. Ah, there's too many ice creams. Make it stop, Holly. Make it stop. Better. Oh. Ah! Oi! Where's our ice cream? Ah! Oh, goodness me! <laughs> I did try to stop it, Nanny, but it got worse. Well, thank goodness the King and Queen aren't here to see all this mess. It's the King and Queen. Hooray! It's very nice of you all to welcome us home like this. May I be the first to say how pleased we are to see you back again, Your Majesties. While you were away... Yes, yes. I'm a bit tired, so if you'll excuse me. Ah, stop! Uh, maybe you should go for a little walk, Your Majesty. I've just got a bit of tidying up to do inside. Thank you, Nanny Plum, but all I want to do now is have a nice bath. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy, it's all my fault. I tried to be a good queen and make everybody happy, but it's a lot harder than you'd think. <laughs> yes, Holly, I know it is. Especially with elves. Elves are never happy. <clears throat> we are happy when we are busy. Elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves! elves! 
Elves! <laughs> In that case, I command you to go back to work at once. Hooray! And your first job will be to clean up all this ice cream. Thank you, Your Majesty. Three cheers for King Thistle. And Queen Holly. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy Sleepover. Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the Little Kingdom? What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's a charming idea and I've joined in the game before. But let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, was that a talking animal? Help, help. Rex, come back. <laughs> Rex, no, naughty dog. <laughs> Holly, have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny. <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. <laughs> can you make Rex little too? <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK, hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm. <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah, a big person. Sound the alarm. Ah, big person. <laughs> Me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes. Look at her feet. They're far 
too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Mm. Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know, you could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow, could I? Of course, there's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> hmm. Talking rabbits? Elves? Fairies? Shrunken daughter? Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> Dum -de -dum -de 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 -do -de -de -de. <gasps> My goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! <laughs> out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Out you go! <laughs> Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh. She's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle. Quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. 
Phew! Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever. Wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs>